to cuff or not to cuff? Gentlemen, that's the question on today's video. Today's video is pretty simple, gents. I'm going to talk about the five advantages to cuffing your trousers. Then I'm going to talk about five advantages to not cuffing your trousers, to going with the clean, non-cuffed look. Now, before I get into this, let me talk a little bit about history. Let's go back to 1890, Edward VII. What did he do? He made it fashionable to cuff your trousers. Now, they say it was because he simply didn't want to get his trousers dirty, so he rolled those up, he had them cuffed, but what we saw in the 1920s, the 1930s, the cuffed look was in. Then in the 1940s, 1950s, a lot to do with rationing during World War II, cuffs disappeared entirely. 1960s, they popped up again. 1970s, they disappeared. 1980s, they returned. Guys, you can kind of see cuff goes in and out. And that's where it can get confusing for a lot of guys. They're saying, hey, should I go with a pair of trousers? I'm going to get custom made, get them cuffed. It's not in fashion right now, but what style is going to work for me? And I think that's key. When you're listening to the advantages, disadvantages, think what is going to be best for me, my wants, my needs, and my body type. You ready guys? Let's get into it. Advantage number one of cuffed trousers. You've got the extra material right here to protect this part of your pants from damage. This right here, you could have it cut, you could have this damaged, I don't know, gets caught on a door, gets burnt or something. You actually have material underneath, you can go ahead and you can still salvage the trousers. Also, on the inside of cuff trousers, you will almost always see an extra layer of material that's sewn in here for protection, but I like the idea of having this extra material here. Now, that takes me to advantage number two, the extra material provides weight. This helps with a better drape of the trousers, especially if they're made from a heavier weight fabric. Like right here, we see this gray flannel trouser made from a, you know, a medium weight uh, gray flannel. This right here is going to work really nice with the cuff trousers. Takes me to advantage number three, and I don't know if this is an advantage more, just maybe a characteristic, but cuffed trousers are going to be more casual. The style, when we go back and we look at the history, Edward VII, him turning up those trousers, that was making them casual. It's something that adds a bit of a complication to the overall style of it, so it does make it more casual. Now, going with that, advantage number four, I think that it makes the trousers unique, especially in a time period when you don't see cuff trousers all over the place. I know when I have had custom trousers made, I oftentimes opt for the cuff. I just like the look of it. And for me, it stands out. And when I look in a room, everyone else has non-cuff trousers. I like being a little bit different. Advantage number five of cuff trousers, and this is for the big guys out there, for the tall guys out there, for the tall, thin guys out there as well. Having cuff trousers with your shoes, I think gives a more balanced look. Basically, it builds up that foot area. So if you're six foot six, and in a sense, you know, you already do, you don't have an issue with looking tall, but you want to give a little bit more weight, or you want to give a little bit more proportion and balance to your feet, cuff trousers can help out with that. We're through with the cuff trousers. Let's talk about the non-cuffed, basically the streamlined, the cleaner looking trousers. And that's advantage number one, is that many style affectionados, the experts out there, they're going to look at non-cuffed trousers. They're going to say they're, it's a cleaner, nicer look. Overall, it allows the eyes to go up and down. Nothing our eyes are going to get caught on when we get down to the shoes. It allows the shoes to come into focus. Just gives a cleaner overall leg line. So that's the first advantage. Advantage number two is that this is going to be a more formal style. So in black tie, in dress slacks or slacks that you want to be able to wear up with a suit and be able to dress up, it's going to be argued that having a non-cuff is a better style. Now, Point number three is that actually it's going to be more common. One of the reasons it's more common is it's just simply less expensive. Think about it, when you have cuff trousers, you use extra material. That extra material costs money. So a lot of companies, they're simply not going to do it because it's less expensive. Now that takes me to point number four. If you're getting adjustments made, it is easier to adjust and to hem a non-cuffed trouser. Whenever the trousers are cuffed, there's a little, they've got to make sure to make sure it's balanced, the right proportion, the right size. And so you only have so much material to play with and it's just harder to sew. When you go with a non-cuffed trouser, basically they have folded the material in, then they went in and they pressed it. This on a higher level quality of a pair of trousers, you're going to see they also use extra material in here to protect on the inside to make sure it also doesn't snag. But Overall, it's going to be an easier fix. It's going to be less expensive to manufacture these. 
The final advantage I want to talk about for uncuffed trousers is that they're going to make your leg line look longer, so it's great for men who are a bit shorter. So if you're five foot six, you're five foot five, you're five foot four, look at uncuffed trousers. Now, everything I just talked about, you can go with whatever style you want. You can be six foot ten and you can go with uncuffed trousers because you like the way it looks. You can be five foot two and you can wear cuff trousers. Just make sure that you get those proportions. Instead of going for an inch and a half cuff, you're going to want to look at maybe a three quarter inch cuff and get something that's custom made. When it comes down to it, gentlemen, remember, you can do almost anything with style. When you understand the rules and then you can bend them, you can adjust them to meet your wants, your needs. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments, are you on the side of cuffs? You like the casual look. You like the way it helps your trousers drape. Or you're like, Antonio, I don't need no stinking cuffs. I'm going to go for the nice streamlined look, the more elegant look, the way just allows the eyes to go up and down, makes me look taller. Whatever it is, guys, let me know down in the comments. And if you want to learn more about trousers, trouser break, you want to understand exactly quarter break, full break, half break, all those breaks, go check out this other video I've got for you right here. Guys, here at Real Men Real Style, I have got hundreds and hundreds of videos that you can go through and you can learn all the small details about style because these small details make a big difference. And if you're lost, you need help, guys, I've got a coaching program. I'm going to link to it down in the description. Go check it out. Guys, that's it. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.